All right, so first off, let's address the clickbait of the video. Our channel is huge. At the time of recording, our channel's like 87, 88,000 subscribers. That's enormous. I remember when I couldn't wrap my mind around 400 subscribers. You remember that? There have been 400 people that subscribe to the channel. I don't even know 400 people. And I just wanted to say a personal thank you. Now we're well on our way to 100,000 subscribers and we know it's not gonna stop there. But we do know that there is a limit. You know, Jenny and I are all about setting huge, big goals, but no matter how hard we try, we're never gonna be as big as Jack Black or Phil DeFranco or Binging with Babish or any of these other colossal YouTubers. We just know we're never gonna be among the ranks of them. There's what we do and there's what YouTube and what YouTube audiences want. We just understand that there's an inherent flaw with our content. When we started this channel back in 2018, all we wanted to do was share the lessons we learned while building furniture. Hi, I'm Jenny, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this cute little planner box. And then that one's gonna be 19. So we've got two four and a half inch pieces right here we can do. Honestly, it was mostly out of boredom. We just wanted to stay busy with a, a, a really cool, healthy hobby that we were into. And while we were doing that, we accidentally turned our lives upside down. We started a business on accident. To make more videos, we started making more furniture for our friends. And then they kept coming back for more. And no matter how high we priced it, they wouldn't go away. Gosh, I just wish my friends would just leave me alone. Our channel slowly morphed into us documenting starting a woodworking business instead of being a woodworking channel. And then in that same way, we started sharing the lessons we were learning in business, not just woodworking. When you're getting so many jobs that you don't have time to build everything, that's when it's time to raise your prices. Sales is just helping people find the right thing, but not forcing them. You have got to get your product in people's hands. I am not my target customer. And that's totally fine to not be the target customer that you're selling. To. There are. Our channel has always been about sharing the lessons that we've learned. And honestly, we're shocked that so many people stick around and watch because we're not special. We build furniture. It's been around literally forever. And we're definitely not the first ones to record ourselves building it and, and put it on YouTube. Nothing we've learned or done is new. So you can imagine our surprise when our inbox was flooded with people who said that we encouraged them to pursue and achieve their goals. They started a business. They reconnected with their family. They found a new hobby that motivated them to get out and do something. A lot of really great, amazing stories. And if us uploading videos helps people with that, then obviously we want to keep going. So while all of this was going on in the last two years, we landed our dream jobs. We both got the opportunity to fly through hurricanes for research. Very selfishly, this was our dream job. This is what we have wanted to do for the longest time. Because we had a viable furniture business running in the background, we had the confidence that we could do it again in another place and take this once in a lifetime opportunity. And we really didn't document this transition too well. Sure, we showed the move to Houston and starting a new shop and everything, but some of the biggest life lessons that we've learned so far came in this last year making that transition. But there's no way that all those lessons directly relate to woodworking content. And then it dawned on us that we were never a woodworking channel from the beginning. Like Jenny said, this channel has always been about us sharing the lessons that work for us. So we're just gonna keep doing that. But you're gonna start to see more of our lives. Not because we're special. In fact, it's the opposite. We want to share the lessons of two extraordinarily average Americans trying to achieve their goals. All we have is a camera, a little bit of hustle, and an open mind. And along the way, we want to continue sharing the lessons and blessings that we've been given because they're not ours to keep. So you're going to see more of us failing, trying, learning, and growing. Each day? 
Because that's how we've gotten these amazing experiences in our lives. Because we're willing to screw up and be the idiot and enjoy the learning process. We're gonna learn new lessons that make the old lessons obsolete. It might not even work out. We might totally fail. But that's not sexy, that's boring. The story doesn't even have an ending yet. You have no idea if the story's even gonna pay off. And that's not what does well on social media. That is the critical flaw with the content that we upload. People would much rather watch a story that's finished than follow one that's in progress. That's why this isn't gonna be a huge, gigantic channel. People would rather look at the extreme and awesome fringes of human accomplishment than watch the patient work of some very average people. One day, if we're lucky, we'll accomplish something extreme and awesome and help a bunch of people, but that's gonna take 20 years. And we don't want to wait 20 years to tell that story. God forbid our time is cut short. We want our lives to make a difference for the few people who will watch the slow, day by day, week by week, month by month grind. So we're fine with putting out content anyway. We're okay telling a story without knowing what the ending is. With your help, we can make the ending better together than we could have ever dreamed of on our own.